Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you sliding window protocol. In my previous videos, I have already explained how stop and wait protocol is functioning. And with stop and wait protocol, there are some issues, right? And some of those issues that we are resolving in sliding window protocol. So let us see how many disadvantages are there with stop and wait protocol. So we have already seen stop and wait protocol. In that we have seen we can send only one frame at a time on the medium right so in stop and wait protocol what we were been doing we were been sending one frame first and we were been waiting for acknowledgement at transmitter side once acknowledgement is received after that only we can send another frame so in stop and wait protocol we can send only one frame at a time that is the biggest disadvantage and because of that efficiency is very less we have derived this formula even efficiency that is 1 divided by 1 plus 2a where this a is propagation delay divided by transmission delay right and if you talk about efficiency in terms of generalized formula then efficiency is number of frames on the medium divided by channel capacity in terms of frames so number of frames transmitted on the medium divided by channel capacity in terms of frame that is the basic formula of efficiency now with stop and wait protocol we can send only one frame on the medium at a time divided by total channel capacity in terms of frame so you can say efficiency is very less why the reason is at a time we can send only one frame if you talk about stop and wait protocol then there is no pipelining and with individual frame we are setting a timer right so there should be tri timer with individual frame we have already seen like as if any frame is getting lost or as if acknowledgement is getting lost in that situation timer runs out and based on that we were been having retransmission in stop and wait protocol right so with individual frame we need to have timer over here that is the biggest disadvantage which is there with stop and wait protocol and because of all these issues you can say poor bandwidth utilization is there now I'll explain you how basics are there with sliding window protocol. After that, I'll explain you how exactly sliding window protocol functions. So, as if we talk about basics of sliding window protocol, then you should know in sliding window protocol, we can send multiple frames in a one transmission. So, in a single go, we can have transmission of multiple frames. I'll show you how we can have multiple frames transmission. Here, number of frames to be sent is based on window size so i'll show you practically like how window size is there and based on that how we will how we will be having transmission with sliding window protocol but first you need to understand with sliding window protocol we can have multiple frames transmission and that is been there based on window size right this sliding window protocol that is a theoretical model it is not practical model based on sliding window protocol there are two practical protocols like go back and ARQ and selective repeat ARQ. So these two protocols that is they are based on sliding window protocol, right? These are practical protocols where in general you will be observing this select selective repeat ARQ that is widely used in computer network. Here with sliding window protocol, there are two essential parameters. One is sequence number and second is window size. See sequence number that shows what is the number of transmitted frame right so when you go for that segmentation at that time in segmentation what we do we provide numbering to the frames right so here sequence number that is just a number of frame and window size that depends on what size of buffer that is there at transmitter side to understand all those things let us see how exactly sliding window protocol functions along with practical example so here let us assume first we are having window size is equals to 3 frames and we want to transmit frames in sequence as per 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here I am going to explain you this practical example. So how sliding window protocol functions let us try to understand that. See here we are having window size that is 3 frames. So first of all you will be observing we will be having this window and this window will be having buffer so buffer will be there at transmitter side right so this transmitter buffer that will be having this three frames that we are dealt with to transmit to this 
receiver. So what will happen? You see, first of all, it will be transmitting frame number one. It will be transmitting frame number one, right? And now it will transmit frame number two. See, these are the frames which is there inside buffer of transmitter. So it will transmit frames without having any acknowledgement, right? It will transmit now frame number three. You see, it will be transmitting frame number three now. Now see what will happen. See, once this frame number one that reaches to receiver, receiver will give acknowledgement to transmitter. So you see, this receiver gives acknowledgement to transmitter. That is A1. That says what? It explains frame number one that have been received successfully. Right. So now transmitter is having idea about okay, frame one that have been received successfully to receiver. Right. So what transmitter will do now? Transmitter will slide this window. You see what will what it will do? It will slide this window. So this window will get slide over here. Right. Now with this window, now with this window, you see what are the frames that we have? 2, 3, and 4. So this frame number 4 that is yet to be transmitted from transmitter side. So now transmitter will send frame number 4. Transmitter will send frame number 4. Right. Now you see after some time frame 2 that will get received at receiver side. So what receiver will do is receiver will give acknowledgement of frame number 2 is received properly. So once transmitter will get this acknowledgement, transmitter will be having idea about okay frame 2, frame 2 that is received perfectly. So what it does is it will be sliding this window. So you see now transmitter will slide this window over here. And now with this window, with this window, now you see we have transmitted 3 and 4, but now we can transmit frame number 5 as well. So now transmitter will send frame number 5 over here. Right. Now you see what will happen? The acknowledgement of frame 3, now that will be received by transmitter from receiver, right? So frame number 3 is acknowledgement. Now that will come over here at transmitter side and based on this transmitter will be having idea about okay now frame 3 that is transmitted successfully so again it will slide this window right it will slide this window now as in this window frame 6 that is yet to be transmitted so it transmitter will send frame 6 over here and here transmitter will be waiting for acknowledgement regarding frame 4 so receiver will be forwarding it so you see now receiver is sending acknowledgement of frame 4 now once that has been received by transmitter transmitter will be having idea about okay frame 4 that is received perfectly so it will slide this window it will slide this window right and now transmitter can send frame number 7 right so now transmitter is sending frame number 7 right so this is how keeps on repeating process will happen as per window, right? And based on acknowledgement, transmitter will slide the window. That's why name is sliding window protocol is there, right? Now you might be having thinking like how this sliding window protocol is better compared to top and weight ARQ protocol. So you see how it is better. What will happen in case of top and weight ARQ protocol? So see in stop and wait what will happen first it will be sending frame number one after that it will be receiving acknowledgement after that it will be sending frame number two after that it will be receiving acknowledgement after that it will be sending frame number three right so if you observe if you observe here in this time in this time we are just sending one frame one frame in case of in case of stop and wait right in case of stop and wait right while with sliding window how many frames that we are transmitting you see one two three so you can say compared to stop and wait protocol we are forwarding how many frames we are forwarding ws number of frames compared to stop and wait so here 
sliding window protocol will be having WS times efficiency compared to stop and wait protocol. In stop and wait protocol, you see how much efficiency was there? Efficiency was 1 divided by 1 plus 2A. That is 1 divided by channel capacity in terms of frames. So, with sliding window, with sliding window, you can say efficiency that will be WS divided by 1 plus 2A. WS times efficiency will be there compared to stop and wait protocol. Right. That is how it is better. Why? The reason is here with sliding window protocol, we can forward WS number of frames on the medium. See, if basic formula of efficiency is what? Number of frames on the medium to be transmitted divided by channel capacity in terms of frame. So, with stop and wait protocol, we can send only one frame on the medium. Right. That's why efficiency of sliding window that is WS times compared to stop and wait. Right. That is how things are there. Now, here you should know some basic terminologies like what is the meaning of these frames. So, when we talk about 1, 2, 3, 4 frames, when we talk about 1, 2, 3, 4 frames, then you can easily say these are the frames that is sent and acknowledged by receiver. Right. And when you talk about these frames which are there inside window, then you can say these are the frames which is sent by transmitter but not acknowledged yet. Right. And when you talk about these frames, then these are the frames that is not sent yet. Right. So, this is how sliding window protocol that is functioning. Now, in next video, I will explain you how exactly parameters are there with sliding window protocols and that will help you to understand how to solve problems based on sliding window protocol. I hope you have understood this. Still, if anything that you would like to share it with me, note it down in comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.